We are live. 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 Hello and welcome to Coast Nation Fan TV. I am Bilo. I am your host. This is where fans meet and talk about Kaiser Chiefs. I'm a football club. And in today's video, we have some things to talk about. Uh, mainly in the defending department uh, because in yesterday's video I did talk about two Tarek Phillies from Cape Town City. I also talked about Uluk Flues. But now two more players have been linked with the Chiefs. One Vele we know who took my trials in the Chiefs but the other one it's just out of the blue really uh, because I didn't expect him to be linked with the Chiefs. But well, he is. So that's interesting. Uh, I would be interested to hear what you guys think of him as well. Because uh, I, I will let you know what my opinions are about the player, about the move, about everything. As the video continues. But as people are joining, as you are watching this video, please do make sure to smash a like button. If you like it, just make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. In this channel, we speak everything case achieves. When games are playing, we preview the matches, we react to the matches, we also just talk about anything that is related to EK's achieves. So if you're interested in that kind of content, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Welcome everyone as you are joining, make sure to say hello, make sure to say hi. Now, I, I read an interesting story about o Bradley Cross, the guy that we saw trialing with the Chiefs before we went to um, 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 this break here world cup and apparently he started going super sport Uglala. so i mean trialing and Kevin hunt has said with this key time that upredly cross was with them at super sports trialing and then he wasn't really in the best possible shape like he was not fit and um, <laughs> it's weird because it's a 21 year old like i would i would have been surprised i wouldn't have been surprised if we we're talking about a 32 year old who has not been playing for years and years but we're talking about a 21 year old who is still like starting off their career i know he's been to newcastle united already in his young career but still like at 21 he was so unfit he was not in a good shape and what Uku Gavin Hunt continued and said was that he actually was not in a good place and then after not being a good place he trained with super sport he regained fitness yake and he left them and it just sounds like sad because it sounds like Uti hi alumchi to see basically because he was unfit and then we got him fit and then now he basically has gone to chiefs and is trialing with the chiefs because that's the case right now upretly cross uh is is trialing with the chiefs and i don't know really Guti, how that's gonna end because we are we are talking about a young player here who's 21 we're talking about a player here who can i i have not seen him play but if he chiefs deems him good enough through the trialing process then you are talking about someone that you'll have for the next 9 10 11 12 years just playing at the highest level we chiefs and will be growing with the team so he's a good option to have if he's good enough that's a big if so if he's good enough because he was good enough to go and play for ama reserve in newcastle united so that tells you Ogut is a good player. So now the issue is eating the attitude yak because as I said, I think in King Uguti, if Uktua the player was found, Uguti was unfit, it just makes me a bit worried. But I mean come on. It's not a big deal. He was just maybe unfit because he didn't have a team and then he would be fine. Uh so it's interesting. Uh, let me know guys Uguti, what do you think about Indabaga Bradley Cross? Welcome to those people who have joined Anele Nyakbona Lapo How's it Kosi As Pamandla Kosi Spamandla Mbata says Ola Kosi Ola Ola Kosi Ola Kosi Now another player that I talked about in yesterday's video that I have not gotten a chance to interact with you like this guy is Utarek Phillies Like guys what do you think of Utarek Phillies I, I said it in yesterday's video Guti 
I don't think the move that Tarek Phillips is possible based on the fact that he is currently playing for Cape Town City and he's an experienced player. I think he's a good experience. School men are good. playing for Cape Town City, the team that has that kind of relationship with the Chiefs, does not seem like it would be an easy move to make. So I don't think he will end up coming to the Chiefs because also if he does come to the Chiefs, he might ha- it might have to do with the fact that uh uso tenji so in what will they promise him will they say okay if you come to chiefs we're going to play you week in week out i don't think that would be a promise because of reasons that are established in that video that you can go watch video is all as well but the other player that isn't um, that makes me think it chiefs are weird in, in, in certain transfer news because why is it that we are offering Uluk Flues apparently three times the amount of money that he's getting at Supersport to bring him to Chiefs? I really don't understand it because last I checked, Supersport gave him a new contract, yet there are still these talks. Ogo to Chiefs are still going after him. That's weird. I'll just leave it out out there what's going to happen with that one because it seems like it's going on and on and it feels to me also like it's just a ploy it's just a plan by Stan Matthews to invite other teams and say hey we have a good player here who's wanted by Chiefs uh best team in South African football and if he's wanted by the best team in South African football maybe you are the ones who are missing out so make sure to come and check this player out because otherwise the Chiefs will take him they're already offering three times the salary that we're offering him here blah 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 and blah 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 so that's that however none's in that be interesting that I want to in Akayo. That's that's just in the bagaga temple as kakan. Yabona get the temple as kakan thing. It it really does confuse me. Temple as kakan coming to chiefs. I don't get it. I will just tell you now. I really, 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 really don't get it because ah. Uh, before today, I didn't know Uguti. There was a player called Utembele Skakane. Blaming Uguti Mabuga Mazulu, but I don't watch Mazulu because I thought he was a centre back when I first saw Uguti. A defender is linked with the Chiefs. A Mazulu defender is linked with the Chiefs. I thought, oh okay, uh, centre back. It makes sense. I mean, Mato is living. Duba Duba is living. You know, in my head, I was like, okay. Uh, maybe it's that kind of a player, Uguti. He's going to come in as a centre back. How man check the positions that he plays mainly? Right back, right wing back, and has played as a left back. But it seems like he's more of a right back. Most of the times he plays as a right back, and I think as a wing back, Ulala. In case a team is like changing a formation, like Badalang in 3-5-2, so then they will have a wing back. So essentially, he's just a right back. The question though is, Uzo Sainelo Uktini by Chiefs, right? Because there is U Solomon's in that position, and there is also refrosla in that position now someone might argue and say but to refrosla like gets injured from time to time and then this season he, he hasn't performed that much as such Uskakane could come in to bring in more competition in that area but then the question then goes back Uguti, is that the only reason why we are signing him or we are looking to sign him because to me, it, it seems like we're going back again to this thing, Yoguti. If a player is available, then let's go after him. Because apparently, Ichiefs are waiting for January to come around. And then they will make their interest kind of public. Because he will be entering his last six months of his contract. So then they will be able to sign him on a pre-contract. And then it made my head go... Pff, Oh, that is why. That's the reason why Ichiefs are going after him. He's entering his final six months, but Manji no Mamkize wants to sign Uskakan. But then again, why? Why are we just signing 
a player just because he's available. It's the same thing that we've been complaining about to Guti. Musan Uksayan Abadlali just for the sake of doing it because when you do that it hurts the team more than it helps the team because it's like uzogu enza ngempela ngempela i understand i didn't check it ama ama comments in right now uh cause city amba say eta cause nation wala wala cause and then anele says cause anele says phyllis is a quality player Listen, I'm not denying Gutu who feels is a quality player. I think that's a one other thing that people should that I'm trying to bring out Uguti. I'm not against Ufilis as a player. I'm not. But it's me saying how is that move going to materialize? Like are we how are we going to sign a player Benny CP is a cinema relationship a better on my team? That's my thing. It's not too good. Ah, I feel it sucks. He must go. No, I'm not questioning his quality. I'm just saying, how is it going to happen? How are we going to, or why rather, are we going to invest a transfer window? Young is focus on signing a defender that in Cape Town City will keep on saying, oh, 16 million, oh, 20 million, and eventually end up not signing him instead of signing other players. Yeah, bo. So it's not a matter of is it good enough or is it not good enough, but it's a matter of is the deal doable? We are paid. No, that's not what I'm saying. Uh, now, Uti Ukosi Anel again says, Skakane hasn't raised his hand. I haven't even seen him play, so valid. that's what I'm saying. I didn't even know what the guy existed in this world guys by the way please make sure to like the video let's continue liking the video so that it can spread to more people like you uh kosi sibongubuko says exchange ngobo for phyllis manage course whoa, whoa, whoa. which ngobo <laughs> which ngobo <laughs> which ngobo are you talking about Unjabul, I think you are talking about Unjabul. I I wonder what will will would in the Cape Town City be open to that. But then again, why would you exchange a defender for a defender? It doesn't make sense. Like, cause you are bringing in another defender to a new system. You are exchanging him for the defender was getting used to the system. I don't think Uktake to Phyllis is about signing him just because. Uh, we need him to replace a player who's there now and who'll be there much and i think with him it's about replacing the players who are living you know like komato no no not dub so i i don't think it's about because must replace in a phone mobile then what really, what have we achieved basically one player out one player in standard as against the loot to that match and then of course Musa says he's coming to add more options. I think you are referring to to um uh Uskakan. I get it, but then again, it's like don't we have other positions to worry about? Because I mean for 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 instance, in left back position, or position. How are we going to have five options or three options we right back? Yet to only have one option we left back. To me, it, it doesn't make much sense, Uguti. Why are we continually just chasing players because they are available instead of going after players that we need, positions that we need? Because while we're doing this and adding more players to the squad, options or no options, Imali is running out because we have to pay these players and then now we end up not having a budget to pay the other players that we actually need because we've wasted money and we've invested more money in midfielders that we don't need. Like look right now what Chief says, we have Nangi, we have Cole, both defensive midfielders that we signed and they are not doing anything for you Chief, see? And yet we can't play, we, we can't bring in another player who's going to help us as a winger, we took our own time signing a striker because it's, it's quite, it's quite saturated by wrong players instead of having a diversity in the squad and different options in different positions, not just in one position. Uh, so I, I do get my option, but 
uh, I just think we should focus on adding options to places that need players in the first place. Like focus on left back if we focus on move. Center backs were kind of sorted nyana. But then a Zamega man to focus on my positions. And another comment from Anele because Anele says exchanging Nobu for Phillies is a bad idea in my opinion. Uh I think so too. And then Kosi Temba says, I also don't understand in the Abagas Kakaneas. You and me both, but Chiefs has done stranger things before they, they can just do it again. So I, I wouldn't be shocked. And then uh, Kosi Musa says, let's be honest. In the past, we had players being too relaxed knowing their guaranteed game time. True, true, and I could even say in the present we kind of have the same issue. I feel, I personally don't think Ushant is a bad player, but I feel like there's something that he's not giving us right now. And he's that player, he's that player who would need to have a competition to help him become better. Not La Pagui right back. We right back already Solomon's no 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 Reeve. They are fighting it out and trying to win and play every week. Good we left back. That's why we have a problem, and that's why I think we should be strengthening. If we are looking for any defender, we should be looking for a left back, not a, a right back. We could, but let's start by having. Every position has two players. We have two different. We have two. Goal, we have three goalkeepers. Two right backs. Two two right footed centre backs. Two left footed centre backs. Blah blah blah, and so on and so forth. And then Labo Badali Gune Balance or Guti Ba Kumpita Gebonk. And then he says your strength nation you know what? In games we actually need more strikers or attacking midfielders. So now let's beef up that area because the squad sets are about twenty-two and let's add maybe more attacking midfielders so that Magna Ma Inchar in that area, that's the area that we need most. In other positions, we can just switch around like we can take a right back and make them a center back. I'm just making an example here. So, yeah, I, I think if there's an area that needs to be beefed up, it would be a left back first, a mat defending. To do exactly what you are saying, Kosuguti, Umlali angaz angat abang wutu guarantee the starting lineup. So I agree with you, Uguti some players, even now, they do they do that and it will help to have competition. Uh Kosi Charlie says Sikakan is the most aggressive player in the PSL. Remember he injured Martian. He loves ending people's careers and is very violent. Case achieves management again with a shocking decision. Wow, I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that. But <laughs> but it's it's so weird and of course Uguti uh, it's it doesn't even shock me Uguti Chiefs would do that. Uguti, they would just go for a player just because, you know, it it, it doesn't shock me. And I, I, I honestly this time it's not even kick off who reported the story. It's actually from Upagat. So it's a, another source who's who most of the times have been reliable like stories that i've read from their site or twitter they usually are true uh, I, I am not endorsing them in any manner but i'm just saying uh, like in Gubu, and it was stories that we we're not expecting yet they were just coming out from more pagati and then like oh okay this is true oh this is happening so it, it will be interesting to wait and see because nganza guti chips are really not into that uh, but let's just wait and see. Kosis Pamanda says, I'm worried about the fact that we are not linked with any decent left back. Exactly. Like, 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 rumor. that's the worrying thing. Oguti, they aren't even rumors. Oh, no, each is targeting so and so. Like, Aguko, there's none, zero, zilch, nada, nothing. Like, I'm not and it, it really does concern, concern a person with how. So, locals link on a match center pegs. Sapin is a link on a right peg, he can manage up my left peg up. <laughs> like, honestly, if you think about it, Vele, they aren't like, but of a corner my left peg in Africa, around Africa. I'm sure even with PSL, there are other players 
who are decent left backs who wouldn't just spotlight as Kasha and Ogubo that much. But right now, off the top of my head, can't really think of a decent left back uh, in, in, in SA football who's not playing for Pirates, Sundowns, those players who are not locked down in Cape Town City because Lake is there now. So it's kind of limited but then why are we not hearing rumors about some teams in africa or someone from south america language chiefs we're not hearing none of that and it's it's worrying cosimo table says all we need is to create more competition with the team and especially for our number 11 billiard and toll lay lay all of of um the front three and whatnot, we, we've been hearing our links and Amanya or Uzo because you're thinking, yes, the Chiefs, they want a striker and we're linked with Abu Palin Pachna and other and, and them. But then you're like, okay, um, we still do need an attacking midfielder maybe here and there. But how Uzo are going to look defender? So it's like weird, really good. This one position that just needs to chill and work together that we can worry about later cool and then the other places where we should be worrying about which is like nah fam nah forget it <laughs> uh, guys please do remember to like the video subscribe if you are not subscribed the next comment is from kosi siamzugi says skaka <laughs> <laughs> it was just like skakan <laughs> i feel like you 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 heard me saying skakan and he also just left the chair like ah that was <laughs> and and i would say this if he came to chiefs i would support him because he would be a case chiefs player but oh, come on come on I, i'm just like ugh, man we can do better and then Kose Sibongubuko says, if singer for mana ula ke ka Cape Town City tick. Oh ho. Angeti is on loan with Cape Town City from the Sundowns. I, I don't think that will happen unless we would have to wait for him to finish his contract his loan term and then his contract with the Sundowns. Then we can get him. But to get that age. So that's a problem. Because even our development at this point does not have those black left back who's on fire that we can say we have this left back and they're doing a good job which is a problem because hey buffett we are not developing strong players for positions that we lack in we're just producing position i want to end that is really not helping the team and i feel like it would be disappointing if the same client that we are told he's protecting himself and he's saving himself is going to be playing the entire season without competition without being changed how is that not risking another injury because we can see what even machine at this point he's not being trusted to play as a left back so in king and we were worrying about all these other positions yet the one that we're lacking as in the loot next is Kosin musa says since Mali left Chiefs, do we even have someone uh, feeling that scouting department besides Ace, who's at development scouting? Angaz na was mean. Ina ba ma scouts Chiefs inja angaz ugu to ba ngasi asa ma scouts Chiefs. All I know ugu ti there is a possibility ugu to have them. <laughs> there is a possibility ugu to have them. Maybe they even they get a ma scouts report from abaland lb chiefs my basis of school must say oh there is a good player in zambia and then they go after that player otherwise it just seems like uh well we are we are doing that we are chiefs players would want to come to us isn't they have changed now players don't just come to chiefs just because it's chiefs players now go to teams because they're thinking okay what is he gonna offer me like or oh, oh, Frankie Tiong. We're talking last week. Why does the mic look like it's so loud? How is my mic? My levels on the left here show me that my mic is really, really loud. Really bad. Okay. Uguti players like about Frankie Tiong. Um okay. Something is going wrong with my stream. 
Oh my goodness. So, yeah, guys, I think because we've talked, so let me read the stream. The, the other question from Kosi Anele says, mm, Oh, Musa Malulega says we don't. Uh, we don't have scouts. I think that's what we are referring to. And then, of course, Anele says, Msan from Richards Bay must be signed by Kaiser Chiefs. Angazi na nyimbo netlala, so I won't make a comment on that one. And then, Kosi Sbongubuko says, what do you think about financial fair play with DSTV since Ikona Kwezingi Leagues? Oh, as a vetu, I feel like even though that thing is there, or Manchester City, they still violate it. It will help to be there to say, oh, there is a rule. But if you actually think about it, how many people actually follow in the financial fair play? Like about PSG, you see the things that they are doing. Like they are affording a masala Neema, Umese, Umbape in one team, you know, and they can still sign more players. Look at J. They find a loopholes to not respecting in by financial fair play. So I think it would kind of help if Kuguti by Landela. But in South Africa, we know Guti, we don't really follow the rules. So I think it might not help as much as we think. Because can see Landela in any case. Sometimes we'll still do what they want to do and chips will still chip out, which does not help anyone. And Kosi Simba says... How about Lodge? Hey, hey. Lodge is not being played by Pirates that much, but I also don't think he would just leave a Pirate and come to a Chiefs. And also, he, if he did, he would insist in playing ahead of the players that we have right now. And I don't know whether Ozoane would say, ah, oh, so we Pirate, just come and play with Chiefs. I think that would be a bit tricky. Um, so I'm aiming and I'm trying to make these streams as short as possible. Like for the first 10 minutes or so or five minutes, it's me talking and the remainder of the stream, it's you guys commenting and talking to me. So the target now is to always end the stream like before 30 minutes, you know. So I am going to say if you have enjoyed this video, just know what we stream every day. Monday to Friday, weekdays, Monday to Friday, half past seven South African time, be there because we'll be streaming and then make sure Wuti, you leave a comment, you like the video, you subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Thank you so much once again for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow and until next time, remember, equals, I'll pay you more. This looks so weird.